Hey there, I'm Tim. Today I want to talk to you about the new Sony A850 digital SLR and how full frame cameras can help you get the most out of your digital photography. This is Learn TV. <laughs> The A850 is not Sony's first full frame digital SLR, however it is a lower cost alternative to the current A900, without actually losing too much in the way of performance. So very much like the current A900, this uses the same 24.6 megapixel full frame sensor. It also has the dual Beyonds processing and a number of other features such as steady shot built in. So it represents excellent value for money for people looking at full frame cameras. Now there's a variety of benefits of going to a full frame camera. Most SLRs that you buy use what's called APS-C sized sensors. Now an APS-C sized sensor, while significantly bigger than what you'd find in a compact camera, is not the same size as a strip of 35mm film. That means that if you're using older film lenses, when you put them on your camera, you get an effect called a field of view crop. Now this effect basically means that because you're using a smaller sensor, you actually end up cropping into the picture slightly when you capture the image. If you put something like a 50mm lens on your camera, you're going to get around about one and a half times that focal length with the actual resulting picture. Now this is important because something like a 50mm lens is traditionally thought of as the kind of lens you would use if you wanted to capture roughly what you see in front of you at a 1 to 1 ratio. So if you're using a 50mm lens on a camera with a smaller, for example an APS-C sized sensor, you're actually going to be effectively zoomed into the image further than you might be expecting. Because of the larger sensor, a full frame camera also gives you other benefits. For example, in many cases it will give you more control over depth of field. This allows you to be a bit more creative with your photography by controlling the area of the picture that is in focus. The other obvious benefit of a full frame sensor is that being a larger sensor, you can pack more pixels on there without sacrificing too much in the way of low light performance. To put this in perspective, if this camera was using an APS-C sized sensor and you wanted the same sort of pixel density, you'd be restricted to around about 11 or 12 megapixels. So you wouldn't have that same flexibility that a high resolution capture offers you. So much like the A900, the A850 represents excellent build quality because it is designed to be used by professionals. It's a full magnesium alloy body, so that means that it's lightweight and extremely durable. The body also features weather seals as well, so it can be used in a professional environment. The A850 also shares a number of features in common with other alpha cameras. So, like the A900 and the other models in Sony's range, it features steady shot. Now this is quite an achievement for a full frame camera. The A900 was the first to do it, but to achieve it in a lower cost body like this is quite significant. Now unlike competitors models which use dedicated image stabilized lenses which cost more and make sacrifices in terms of imaging quality, the benefit of having steady shot built into the body means that you can use lenses like fisheye lenses or super wide angle lenses, very very bright or fast lenses such as an f1.4 lens which is simply not possible with traditional lens stabilized systems. Despite being a similar specification to the A900, a couple of minor things have been dropped. In the case of the A850, it will now shoot 3 frames a second rather than the 5 frames a second available on the A900, and the viewfinder has changed very slightly so that it is now a 98% coverage viewfinder rather than a 100% coverage viewfinder. For most people, those things are not going to make a huge difference. If you're new to the Sony Alpha system, one of the things you'll appreciate most is the ease of use. In addition to a variety of custom modes, which can be preset according to your requirements, you also have a custom button and the function key, which brings you into the quick navigation mode, allowing you to quickly change settings without actually having to enter into more complex menus. All of the significant features available on the A900 have been carried over into the A850, including the HDMI connectivity and also features like intelligent preview. 
Intelligent Preview gives an alternative use to the Depth of Field Preview button, allowing you to capture an image, make adjustments to the settings before committing it to memory. It's a fantastic tool for people working in studio environments. Of course, the A850 is only a small part of an overall system. So when you buy the Alpha 850, you get a complete suite of software applications to help you make the most of it, including Sony's PMB application for image management. You also get the Data Converter application for converting from Sony RAW format and Lightbox for comparing images. On top of that, the Sony Alpha 850 supports remote camera control via USB, so a remote camera application will allow you to capture photos onto your computer directly via USB. Unfortunately, given the time we had, we really only were able to scratch the surface of the Alpha 850, a very powerful professional camera. But I hope you enjoyed this brief look at it. We'll see you next time on Learn TV.